Labour winning the general election and that the scale of the task is immense. Why do you think that? Well, first of all, the uh, interview I did with Politico was a conversational piece and it was against the backdrop of if the opinion polls are to be believed that I made those comments. Of course, since then, Labour have launched their manifesto. It's a fantastic manifesto, a manifesto for workers, for ordinary working people, a manifesto that will change Britain for the good. And uh, the response that we've had from Unite members has been incredible. Uh, that's why I was checking our polls that we do, constant rolling polls, uh, and the response has been like something we've never seen before. So I'm now full of optimism. If I was having that interview today, I wouldn't be making those comments. I think also uh, the Labour campaign has been brilliant. It's outshone the Tories. Jeremy Corbyn has come across as a real man of the people and a real leader. Uh, and I'm now full of optimism as to what will happen in the next uh, two to three weeks. I believe that the opinion polls uh, will start to move if our members in Unite are anything to go by. Once people start looking at the policies that Labour have in their manifesto, then uh, anything's possible. And we believe now that uh, everything to fight for over the next three weeks, and that's what we'll be doing. So you've not had a change of tune? Yes, in many respects I have. The Against the backdrop of uh, of the opinion polls, that was the conversational interview I was having. But Labour's manifesto has been received, certainly by Unite members, uh, very, very enthusiastically and positively. And I think if that spreads throughout uh, the rest of the nation, then we could see something really dramatic happening in, in the next two to three weeks. And that's what we'll be fighting for. Every single vote, Unite will be there in every constituency fighting for Labour to win this election. Now, you did say in the... Um interview that 200 seats would be a successful campaign but that's almost 30 fewer yes than against in the 2015 against election. against the backdrop of the current opinion polls and that's why it's always difficult in a a, a long-ranging interview to pick out specific comments because it's always against the backdrop of what you were talking about and of course i was talking about the opinion polls and how uh massive a task uh, lies ahead for Labour. Now, what I'm saying now is, very evidently, this manifesto that has come out, the Americans sometimes refer to it as a Christmas tree. There's uh, a present for everybody hanging from it. And that's true. John, John MacDonald has been brilliant in explaining where the cash will come from. And I think now that that should start to alter things fairly dramatically, both in the polls and in Labour's prospects. So that's what I'm looking forward to. But if the polls don't change um, and you're still setting, well, let's why just, set such a low bar? Well, let's just, let's just wait to see, because I'm now convinced that the polls will change. I'm now convinced that Labour are in with a real chance. And that's what we are hoping for. That's what the British people need, if they could only examine those particular policies that Labour have put forward, then I think things will begin to change. And that's, I'm going to, I'm ready for the fight and up for the fight.